dear friends i am going to discuss about the new topic uh, that is related to us payroll so before going to the us payroll specific uh, theoretical knowledge so let's uh, discuss about uh, how the payroll process works so in the real time when we are working in the organization so when we get the month end uh, salary is credited to our account so everyone are happy to see the numbers but we should understand the what is the back end how this the payroll is running so okay so again it depends on the application to application okay so some companies they are using uh, some uh, other application i cannot specifically mention the names and done but however in case if any organization using the sap product then i can discuss and give the more information how this uh, payroll works in the sap application okay so as of now in the market we have two okay one is uh, sap hcm okay so i was started in the year 2010 or 11 so i used to work on the us payroll uk payroll so after that i moved to the success factor cloud application okay uh, and also we are calling uh, calling uh, sap hcm as a on premises okay so these are the terminologies in the uh, it industry so as of now again if you come to the another one so here we have the something called in the cloud we have something called ecp okay so ecp means employee central payroll and on premises first i will discuss about the on premises then i will come back to ecp and i will show how this works between the ec2 ecp and okay and ec2 on premises how this integration works so when you come to the on premises so hiring to termination happen okay so it means that so in the uh, sap scm or on premises we here we have something called info type concept okay so info type so for each and every master data or employee data we are using the info types okay so was there like something called a zero zero is action okay zero zero when the uh, organization assignment zero zero two is the personal uh, data zero zero three the system it will be created automatically that this is will control the payroll related okay for address we have zero zero six time we have something called zero nine okay zero eight for the pay component okay zero nine for the bank details okay so these are all the uh, data as per the employee you know uh, employee we are going to maintain apart from that we have here in the sap HCM, we have having something called organization management okay so here we are creating the our unit position okay uh, cost center and all those things so all this data either any of these info types will maintain it okay normally our uh, uh, position either cost center everything we are going to maintain it in the info type 001 okay so once this master data is ready then in sap hcm uh, we are calling something called t codes okay uh, programs and all those things okay so in sap hcm we are uh, you uh, in case in uh, we if we want to run the payroll so normally we will uh, what we will do at the month end okay so like uh, fourth week of uh, every month or third week of every month so what they will do so here they have something called uh, uh, control center okay control center so what they it will do so they will release the payroll process okay so once they release the payroll process then what happens all these master data are locked okay so we are not going to maintain any data for this info type so first they what they will do they will release uh, the payroll uh, center then they will run the simulation they will check everything is fine then what happens okay release for payroll okay and they will do the simulation and they will check everything is fine okay then they will go for the actual run otherwise what they will do uh, so once they done the simulation if they find anything then the again so they will put it for the correction okay so once they do the correction then again so normally uh, we can go and update any info types uh, uh, data then again they will release and everything is fine then they will run the payroll and close the account okay so this is the normal process but again in sap hcm uh, we have something called how this automatic all the calculations happens okay so for that we are using something called uh, which i am going to discuss sap hcm is completely it's in high level only okay then you later you'll understand that why we need to know some of the basic uh, about sap hcm also 
so when you're running this payroll process okay so for each and every uh, uh calculations so here we are you are using something called a schema okay so and again inside the schemas we have something called uh, pcrs okay so pcrs means personal calculation rules okay and again this personal calculations we will be having some standard operation using that one whether we will add subtract okay either multiplication okay uh, whatever you want you want to do any multiplication okay subtraction we will do it okay and again so this is the very key point this will control the complete okay the payroll process okay example if i take it so if you someone is worked on the overtime okay so one of the waste types so now in sap hm what we are going to do so for each and everything we are creating something called waste type okay so this is the four digit numerical name which we are going to give for the each and every uh, waste types okay for one of the waste types say it should be calculated over time like 1.5 based on the basic salary my basic salary is uh, 100 rupees per day then if the, someone is worked on weekend and holiday and thunder the system should pay the 150 rupees okay that is something called 1.5 percent if it is 200 uh, two per, uh, 200 percent means that the uh, weekend or holiday they should pay the ot as a 200 rupees based on the basic salary okay all these calculations we are going to do it in the pcs okay so these are all the some of the basic knowledge which we have okay and also this is working based on the their local system okay so on premises means this the application should be installed in the their local system okay and everything maintenance and if any patch ups update everything is done by the uh, customer side only so this is not taking care by the sap okay so when you come to the sap okay so whatever we are do, go, going to create some of the basic information like waste type creation even the ecp also we need to create it waste type okay uh, some of the basic configuration about this pcr's calculations everything we have to redo it in the ecp also okay if some customers where they are running the uh, payroll on the cloud okay it means that we no need to install any application in the local system using the url okay so we can run the payroll okay that is called ecp and again master data some of the things basic car structure enterprise structure everything we have to create in the ecp as well okay but however the hiring and termination happens in the employee central body now you got an idea so why we need the ec now okay so that is the reason they called as an employee central payroll okay so whatever you are doing the hiring and termination on premises that the same thing we are doing in the employee central hiring termination rehiring everything we are doing okay in the ec we are using something called portlet concept okay everyone aware of this one so portlet is something info types so all these data we are replicating from okay so this is the landscape ec and ecp so here also in ecp we are pushing all the data into the respective info types we are not going to maintain any directly uh, data in the info types in the ecp system all these data okay portlets data we are pushing to the info types okay you can take any one like uh, actions hiring and termination okay that again if you do anything that will come and sit in the info type 01 in the ecp again personal information portrait data that will come and sit in the info type 02 okay so in the job information okay ec okay so that will come again it will be splitted in multiple portlets just i am giving an example information data that will come and sit in the info type 001 okay so here we have also something called uh, compensation portlet okay so that will come and sit in the info type 00 8 or info type 00014 okay and one time payment okay so that will come and sit in the info type 0015 okay after that here we have the two different uh, terminologies so for this replication we are going to call as a p2p point to point integration 
okay so this point to point integration we are going to do in the the separate url that is called ecp system okay but however this connection between ec and ecp we will do it in the ec as well if you go to the instance all in the managed data so there will be something called payroll related uh, objects and all so there we, we we will link the connection between ec and ecp but coming to the which you know data or field should be replicated from ec to ecp that we will do it in the point to point integration inside the ecp system okay it's a separate url for this is a separate url and this is the separate url okay so how this connection is happening how we will run the payroll for example i told right the payroll uh, control center okay we'll release the payroll release for correction and done okay so once this uh, data is replicated from ec to ecp and all everything is fine then what we will do in the success factor we have something called uh, pcc so pcc means the payroll control center okay so this is the sequence of steps okay sequence of steps carried by in the system okay so what we are going to do so again here also we will do some uh no uh, we will create the some validation rules and all those things okay but however that what we are going to do in the like release correction and all those things that will be taken care by the pcc payroll control center okay so and again this is also in a customizable how you want it what is the advantage of the pcc and all what is the difference between the legacy uh, or on-premises applications to the pcc see for example if we take uh, the last month uh, complete payment of around uh, 60 lakhs for all the employees okay so when you come to the pcc for example if there is a something called 65 lakhs we are going to pay for this uh, month okay then system it will show this the five lakhs okay as a warning okay based on again we will be set up something uh, uh, no validation so based on that validation in the pcc shows that the fifth lakhs this month we are going to pay more but however in the on-premise system this kind of validations warning or error message we are not able to configure it okay but in the pcc we can configure it for example for one of the employee so in the last month we are paid around uh, 50k okay so this month he is getting uh, 60k example so this uh, 10,000 is more compared to the last month this one down we can configure it it will show the warning message then what happened as an payroll administrator they can double check the why we are paying the 10k more to this employee or as a overall why we are going to pay 5 lakhs this month payroll okay so all these validations we I can do it in the payroll uh, system okay or we are calling as a uh, control center okay now we got an idea so in case the some of the customer they are going to use the now another scenario so i told you that the on-premise is completely is different and ec ecp is the one kind of license now another part happened the some of the customers still they are using the on-premises okay but however they are going to use the ec okay but again still they want to know replicate data from ec to the on-premises that is also possible for that we need to use the cpi programs cloud platform integration okay so there are already standard integrations are there so based on that we can pass the data from the ec to uh, sap or uh, sap hcm or on premises okay so another one is uh, now sap is coming with the completely all okay so it means that uh, the completely they are not going to use the ecp or on premises they are completely going to use the something called next generation payroll okay so it's already i think uh, if you see the sap article so they already started releasing this next generation payroll so but still for if you want to use the next generation payroll ec is the important okay all the data again coming from ec to the ec to next generation payroll see ec is the key point for any of the scenario whether it's on premises either next generation payroll or ecp the ec is the prerequisite without ec we cannot uh, run the payroll except on premises as a separate platform okay so that is the reason so at least going forward if you do the the payroll process working on the next generation payroll is very simple 
okay so i'm going to discuss about on premises payrolls or ecp what will be uh, specifically especially on the us payroll okay so before that these are all the basic idea which we should aware of that okay so again coming to a uh, little bit of, uh, i'll touch about e uh, point to point uh, integration or that is called ptp so in case uh, for example i already mentioned there is a separate node or uh, the path we are img path you are calling as an ecp or on premises okay so if you go to the somewhere that personal administration we can see the point to point integration so here there will be possibly two scenarios so one is for example uh, code basis for example if i say uh, in the compensation we have created in the ec we are calling as a pay component okay so in the ec also we created something called pay component 00, zero okay and ec also we are going to create the the same pay component with code then what happens we no need to do any mapping the system automatically push the data from the uh, ec to ecp in case if there is a different code here so in case if i used some alphabetical with number but however in the ecp we cannot use the alphabetical okay so it should be only the number then what we need to do in the point to point there is a some table called the mapping between the the field to fields or the waste types to waste types like that okay so when i come to the waste type inside the point to point then i need to define okay from the ec okay we are pushing a001 so a, a100 equal to ecp100 okay then this is the table so where we are passing the values from the uh, ec to uh, ecp okay and also in case if we take another one example we have used one custom field in the uh, ec in the inside the job information we have used the custom field that should be replicated to the ecp then again we need to come to the point to point there is a one uh, table okay i cannot show because still we don't have the you no know, uh, for ecp and all we don't have the demo uh, connections okay so for that we need to do a lot of settings under so again we cannot show the customers uh, instance as well so that is the reason i'm just explaining theoretically we have the custom field in the ec and another one the standard field in the ecp or custom field that also we should be mapped in the inside the point to point integration okay so i hope you got an idea that overall okay the how this uh, payroll process works okay and again if you take the theoretically how this uh, you know when you will get a salary for example if you take any offer the, the employer they will say something called this is your fixed amount okay so for example if employee getting the some k some 50k as a fixed amount okay so out of that a basic will be something called 15 so hra can be some 10,000 blah 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 the total amount of yours is 50 okay so this is the gross income you are calling as a gross income out of which they will deduct all the statutory deduction if you go any country the statutory deductions will be there so if you take in india example we have the pf okay pt esi will still not come because if that is uh, less than uh, uh, 20,000 or 50,000 okay and again if every yearly once in the april or may so they will deduct something called uh, insurance okay so if you come to the us also similarly like that uh, okay the social security uh, pensions amount uh, okay that will be there after deduction of that they will calculate the tax okay so if someone is belongs to 10 percent or 20 percent they will deduct some uh, tax amount then they will get the net pay okay so with this is the amount so which we are getting in our to the bank account okay so even this everything is in a process okay if you come to the any of the applications okay if you take ecp also the same thing which you do, do it in the payroll control center okay first they will get the amount they will do all this uh, you know, simulation book so they will check the what is the deductions of the employee okay so then everything single uh, once they get the number they will take the uh, net payment okay after this process again there will be the post payroll activities okay so we are calling as the, the post payroll activities it means that whatever this uh, complete calculation we need to send to the finance department for the their balance sheet okay that is called posting to payroll 
okay so in case uh, after that we need to send the amount to the uh, we need to nowadays handle in india we can pay directly the pf amount to the pf office there so the, using their employer contribution they will do the uh, that is called something called third party remittance okay but if you come to the us and the same kind of process will be there okay so that pension amount should be paid to the respective government and there is something there will be something called different like garnishments okay benefit related okay so even the us also the same kind of process will be there okay so those are all comes under the post payroll activities okay I, again the, even the what we are getting the net payment is again it's in a post payroll activity so in their local system they will calculate the net amount but they will create electronically uh no files and share to the bank or even the employer can directly update it into the bank and based on that number from their account to our account the salary is credited okay so these are all the very high level related to uh, payroll under so when i start with the discussion on the payroll process okay the same kind of initially you'll get to know but however when you go in details about you know there will be something called waste types i already discussed garnishment okay benefits related post payroll activities okay so at that turn all i will discuss it the same thing in case in the future if you want to work on the payroll site when the next generation payroll comes okay you can easily work on that okay thanks for watching